Hi guys, welcome back to my weekly readings. I trust you guys had a great week last week and are gearing up for the upcoming week, May 19th through the 25th. That's what we are going to focus on for this reading. Keep in mind that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone, but it'll resonate with some and it'll resonate with me. Um, also, the reading may also reach further than a week because the tarot sometimes they're very mysterious and they could be uh, forewarning you of something that is to come uh, later on not quite this particular week but you can at least get a heads up on it sorry about the uh, airplane the occasional airplane or the occasional sound i can't help it i am outdoors i prefer to be outdoors as i can connect better to nature than if i was in my room or confined by walls. Again, we're going to continue the um, the reading that is focusing on self-help or self or focusing on yourself instead of focusing on family, relationships, work all of the time because we are being asked to find our center. Find our center, focus on ourselves, strengthen ourselves, focus on our health, uh, learning to love our bodies, learning to love our minds, our um, not so perfect parts of ourselves, which sometimes they, uh, they can impede us from doing things. I mean, we may have a slower mental process than others around us. Uh, we may have um, I don't know, we may be overweight, underweight, uh, certain situations that others might think are different from themselves. So we need to learn to love ourselves with all our idiosynchronicities or all of our shortcomings and all of the things that we may think are not perfect according to the media or according to what people think is normal which sometimes they think that somebody that weighs 80 pounds is what is normal the norm for a woman but once you get past a certain age it's like impossible to weigh that amount unless you are definitely ill and um, if we continue to hate ourselves or our bodies or our shortcomings then we can become ill which is something that that spirit is trying to prevent us from doing. So focusing on our bodies, learning to love our bodies is very important. To look in the mirror every day and tell yourself how much you love yourself, you know, whether you think you're a little overweight or underweight, it's the way that you're supposed to be at this time for a particular reason. You know, either you have a couple of extra pounds because you have suffered greatly and um, you feel that a little extra weight is uh, some type of support or a cushion, or perhaps you've gone through your midlife crisis or you're in the middle of your life where you have menopause and then you gain some weight because of your hormonal differences and lack of uh, being able to burn the pounds like you did when you were very active or very young. So there's different stages that we go through in life and at some point we may love ourselves and then other points we think, well, no, we're not what we should be or where we should be in life. So we, we battle against it. And then we don't want to look at ourselves in the mirror. We don't think that we look like we should or there's something different about us and we don't like it. Uh, some people, they prefer to go under the knife, you know. I mean, everyone has their own way of coping through with things, but I would be terrified if I had to uh, do some type of a plastic surgery or some type of a surgery that isn't to prevent a very important illness from progressing. I mean, uh, just for beauty itself, it really isn't worth it because you're messing with Mother Nature and eventually you're going to look in the mirror and not even recognize who you are or who you were because of you know man not being able to create perfection like mother nature does we're being asked to find our center your outside world is a reflection and a manifestation of what's going on inside of you at this time when the outside world becomes so hectic and stressful that your anxiety starts to overwhelm you 
then it is an ideal moment to stop and ask yourself, when was the last time I checked in with myself? When was the last time that I tried to realize what exactly is going on within me? How can I become more peaceful inside, which will in turn make it more peaceful on the outside? Or like a teacher I heard once say, uh, fake it till you make it. You know, if, if you're overwhelmed or anxiety is taking over your life, then it's time to slow yourself down. Check in with yourself. What are the things that you can change? How can you get enough rest? That was something that was told to me at the beginning of the weekend. Like, you need to rest. You need to find peace through resting. We don't get enough rest. We think, oh, yes, we're going to sleep late. We're going to spend the day doing nothing, which turns into... Um, working for everyone else or doing what everyone else wants you to do in order to keep the peace in order not to create problems because the minute you don't do something that someone else wants you to do then there's a fight there's an argument there's talking behind your back there's people that presume they know what you're doing or what you're up to and they have no idea who you are or you know what you're you're trying to do which could be just getting a little rest taking a break uh, spending time with a friend, talking to a friend, as opposed to working your day through, that your day off, you know, you work very hard during the week, and then you try to find some type of peace on the weekend, and it's impossible with family members or uh, relationships, if you have one, you know, they all have their plan, which you can make time for them, but making time for them, and then hem ha them having taken up your whole entire day with their stories and all their bullshit, it creates a lot of anxiety in your life. Then you go right back to work on Monday and you're like, you know, over the top with your own responsibilities at work and whatever's going on there and you really didn't get any rest. So week after week of that could take a toll on your body and on your mind, on your spirit as well. So if you have an issue with your body or if there is something that you would like to change, perhaps it's time to speak to an expert, someone that knows more about it, someone that's gone through what you're going through or what you're going to be going through because at this point you may not know what's going on. There could be something that you need to focus on and you haven't because you're so busy with everyday life that you haven't taken time to go and check in with doctors different checkups, different things that you need to do that you haven't really done in a long time or you may have skipped a couple of appointments, it's time for you to really focus on that because sometimes we feel that, well, we can't go to the doctor because I would have to take time off from work and they really need me at work. They can definitely do without you at work because one day your job ends, they'll replace you with someone else. And in the meanwhile, you let your health go to the wayside because you didn't want to take time off from work, just trying to save your position at work, and they, it really doesn't make any difference to anyone at work. You're expandable no matter where you are. So please focus on your health, number one, and then take time to set up what your priorities are. Your work relationships, your work, very important, but you can't compromise your health for work or for family for a romantic partner or for your children because if you do the minute you do that something could seriously be wrong and you don't know it because you've been putting it off and the longer you wait the worse the situation gets and then what's your family going to do then what work what's work going to do without you you know for a long extended period of time you need to be able to meet everyone halfway and kind of balance your life because something could be out of balance we to think of it the justice card is on the table so it's balancing your life being fair to others but yet also yourself we can't put ourselves in the last place because really where we belong is in first place and then everyone else comes later everything else comes later because once you start to break down or your body gets to a point where it can no longer sustain um, the negativity around you the negative thoughts and negative energy that others also it's still in you because of their uh, thinking or their accusations or their I don't know talking behind your back and just all this negative energy that's being focused on you for no reason at all whatsoever it all takes a toll on you it takes a toll then your own negative thinking your own adjustments that you need to do in life and you fail to do them and then you just beat yourself up over it all of that creates disease so you need to be very careful 
You also need to be careful of what you eat, what you drink, if you smoke. All that stuff needs to stop. When you're being told to stop something, it's time to do it because it could just get worse. And then there's no turning back. There's sometimes you can reach a point of your health where you cannot fix it. You can't fix it. No matter what you do, you can't fix it because you let it go for so long. So it's time to start telling yourself how much you love yourself. Thanking the Lord for all the years that you did have where you were healthy and you're returning to that. And you start thinking positively about yourself and the things that are going on in your life. Because you must. You must in order to be able to turn the clock back to a, at least to a certain extent where you're happier with yourself and you can still remain healthy and still remain the patriarch of your family and the things that you're doing at work and still be able to do your responsibilities. Loving yourself is number one looking in the mirror every single day and telling yourself how beautiful you are, how wonderful you are, how attractive you are, whatever it is you want to say to yourself that's positive. My husband loves me. My boyfriend loves me. I love myself. I don't need a husband. I don't need a boyfriend to tell me how beautiful I am. I can tell myself that. Sometimes people presume that by having a relationship, that is what defines you, which it's totally quite the opposite. You should already be defined without the relationship. The relationship is only 50%. It's only there for support. Someone to share your experiences with, not someone to define you. Because that is when you have a problem. That is when you lose yourself and the other person gains. And after a while they leave you. Because you're no longer the person that they fell in love with. So you need to focus on that and tell yourself how wonderful you are. And not belittle yourself or think that someone else is better than you because truly we're all the same inside we're all spirit inside we're all the same we may be different colors different ethnic backgrounds whatever the heck our hair is different one's heavier one's lighter whatever it is it's different but the inside we're all part of spirit when we pass away the only thing that's left is a spark of light that goes directly back to where it ever wherever it came from universe planet source whatever whatever it is none of us truly know we can only assume we can only guess or if you have clairvoyance and you can see what it is then you see it you see it for what it truly is you're being asked to have some fun because this will help raise your vibrations this will help give you a better perspective of life of the things that you need to enjoy in life to raise your own vibrations to love yourself more which is something that is important this is your inner child it has fun on a carousel for example some of you could have fun skating have fun swimming just being outdoors connecting with nature connecting with other people but in a in a jovial way, in a fun way, where you're laughing, or you're screaming, or you're having fun. Maybe a roller coaster will bring that out of you. Whatever it is to help you expel negativity, negative energy that's been holding you back or compounding one layer on top of another of people and places and situations that hurt you and after a while you just become really bogged down with all of that darkness and it's not good for us as a soul as a spiritual being to have all that negativity around you um, sometimes we need to change the things that we're doing or the places that we frequent or the people that we converse with so that that doesn't continue to happen because there are things that do make you happy there are places that you can go to have fun there could be other jobs, other situations, other relationships. You can move from one place to another in different areas that will raise your vibrations. Remember, we need to focus on ourselves. We need to know who we are. We need to return to ourselves, return to innocence, return to happiness, return to, even if it's fleeting moments, you don't have to spend like days in enjoyment because sometimes you know, reality tells us that we may not be able to afford that, we may not be able to afford the time or the place where we can have fun, but we can afford a little bit of time, an hour or two, of just enjoying yourself every single day. Spend some time with yourself, getting to know yourself, telling yourself positive affirmations, how much you love yourself, what you want to do, uh, things that you may want to accomplish, 
uh, diet, uh, exercise, spending time outdoors, connecting with nature, which in turn helps you, helps you tremendously. So maybe you write something down. Right now we just had a full moon last night in Scorpio, which is emotional. It's releasing, it's releasing things that make us unhappy, releasing things that we no longer need. And we need to spend time learning the phases of the moon. We are so much water and the moon pulls and releases the tides of the earth. Can you imagine what it does to us? We need to learn the phases of the moon so that we can act accordingly during each phase of the moon, when we need to release things, when we need to plant the seed of intention of what we want to manifest in our lives, when we need to reiterate that and do another prayer or another writing of what we want and burn it or whatever it is we want to do with it, keep it stored in a special box, a God box. There's so many things that we can do that are symbolic to helping ourselves physically, spiritually, mentally, you know, so all of it helps in the, you know, in the whole realm of things, okay? We need to focus on that so that at some point we can reach where we want to be. Healthier, stronger mentally, physically, spiritually. Uh, have more people around us that hold us up and build us up instead of people that squash us, that try to talk bad about us behind our back or people that point their finger at us like they're a judge. Little do they know that judges exist, but they're not even on this realm. And when it comes to be their time to be judged, they're going to be sorry that they ever, uh, you know, spoke badly about someone or accused someone wrongly without any proof at all whatsoever. Just going by what they see and not what they actually know, which could be something completely different. It could be a betrayal. It could be something that they just don't understand why, but... It's not always our job to understand, and it's definitely not our job to judge or to think that one knows more than someone else or to laugh at someone else because they're overweight or they made a mistake or they're not quite, you know, with it because not everyone is on the same level, but we all should be able to help other people instead of ridiculing or being ridiculing them, sorry or thinking that they're ridiculous, or laughing at them, or judging them, or being sarcastic about something that you say or you do. You know. We need to take care of ourselves more, and we need to take care of those that are around us. By taking care of ourselves, and showing other people how it is done, and how you overcome situations that could be delicate, that could be very serious. Because once you start finding out what's going on, or what could go on in your lives, and how you handle that, you're helping those around you, you know, and, and dealing with their own situations. We have the Queen of Water, tender-hearted, empathic, patient, and loving. Those are qualities that we should have with for ourselves, number one, and then be able to show them to others around us. So that they, they too learn to be that way with you. Because remember, they're mirrors. If you're seeing something within your spouse or family member or someone that you love that's negative, it's because it's something that you need to work on yourself. It's something that is being reflected to you. So if you're peaceful, you're loving, and you show that to everyone and you're not seeing that back, then you're in the wrong place. It's a door that needs to close and you need to move on. Because all that negativity that's there is actually showing you that, buddy, you're not where you belong. This is not a place for you. This is just a stepping stone so that you learn the difference between good and bad for you. What is good for you is a place where you go to and you're happy to be there. And the people that are there are happy to see you every day. And you work together and you're in a jovial uh, atmosphere where people get along and they're not saying things behind your back that is not even real you know they just presume it they say it they spread the rumors and then you're like wow what what really happened here you know I didn't do anything and, and everybody is treating me a little bit differently and you, you feel it it's something that is felt so that is a signal to you from the universe that you're in the wrong place so it's time to look for something else or move on you know in your life that goes with relationships 
family members. Uh, even you can love people, but you can love them from far away. You don't have to be with them, you know, because sometimes family, as hard as you try to get along with them, it doesn't work out. It may never work out, you know, because again, they were they're family members, but they're there to teach you a lesson. And perhaps the lesson is to love yourself enough to move away from them or to be somewhere else. Same thing goes for a relationship. You could love someone and not be able to see eye to eye ever because you've grown spiritually, karmically, and they haven't. So it's time to move on to help yourself because ultimately we go back to spirit. You know, we're here learning lessons with the people that are around us, our family members, our lovers, our children, people at work, people that we associate ourselves with. These are our soul groups that incarnate with us. They're there to teach us things back and forth. We teach each other things. They could be teaching you something very negative and you could be teaching them something very positive. And eventually they'll get it when you're not there anymore. They'll get it. It doesn't matter when they get it. They may never get it. They may get it in a different lifetime. But nonetheless, you showed it to them. You taught them how to be different, how someone can actually be different in their midst and they don't even notice it right away, but they will. Eventually they notice it. Relationships develop to a new level. You're becoming more empathic, more spiritual, more loving, and your relationships are going to develop to a different level. You're either going to move away from the ones that don't or they're going to become better. They're going to reflect back to you the peace, the love, the sympathy that you have for them, the help. And it's going to start being reciprocated. Trust your intuition. Always listen to your intuitive nudging. If it's telling you, go see a doctor, go do it. If it's telling you to move away from a relationship, please do it. <coughs> Water time. My sinuses have been oops. I get them outside. Care for yourself and others. Caring for yourself is very, very important. Your emotional life is super important. Being able to control your emotions and kind of move through life with your emotions. That is what the Queen of Cups does. Queen of Cups is a very empathic person, sympathetic to others, very loving and kind, but she fights fearlessly for her family, for those that she loves, and she loves herself. And her emotions and her intuition is what guides her in life. Not being always so logical, listening more to your intuitive nudges, to your guides, to your angelic guides as well, that are always trying to help us move forward. But we need to pay attention to it, if not, we stay stuck. We stay in that logical mind, oh, but yes, I need to be here because I'm a responsible person. Well, sometimes you need to be responsible for yourself. Otherwise, your temple breaks down and no one is going to be able to help that. No one. You have to do it yourself. You have to be focused on what your body is telling you. Your body does talk to you as well as nature and everything around you. You just need to pay attention. You've been working on your stability. You've been working on work, home, stabilizing your life, laying down solid foundations for your future. Contentment, peace, abundance, a happy home life, the successful completion of a project. So you're moving forward because you're, you've worked very, very hard for this, but now you need to balance balance the rest of your life because that's where it began and that's where you've been focusing you've been focusing on your stability on your future on your home on your family whatever you need to focus on yourself too because something is out of balance justice is upright you're going to be judged fairly the judges are not us it's the angels the judge and they're the ones that bring down the verdict as well so you have to be fair to yourself because you know there comes a time when you need to be. There are also fair and just decisions. Do what you know is right and stand up for your beliefs. Don't let other people walk all over what you believe in life, you know. There are some judgments in your life at this time. Watch your driving. That's one thing. If you are in a lawsuit with someone or 
judgment over children or some type of a legal battle or a legal paperwork or something that you're signing and maybe for your home on some of you um, some legal situation you're going to be judged fairly this card having come out upright means that everything will go in your favor so if that's the case for some of you then yes also being fair on how you judge yourself that has to like I said come first because you can crush yourself by telling yourself negative things in the mirror or just talking negatively about yourself or negative thought patterns that you may have that you need to control that you need to get out of that for some of you you're going to join up in other groups in order to help yourselves when it comes to the self-help part or going to doctors or just joining groups maybe a health club uh, diet or swimming or something there's going to be something you're going to join up with others in order to help yourself when it comes to the things that i have already talked about for others, you are being signaled out for your good work, your artistic talents, or just your talents, you're going to be recognized for it. The power of creativity, recognition for a very high quality work, or being a team player. You're going to be a team player at work because it's fair. Maybe you're being moved from one position to another, you're having to learn to work in a team with other people, and you're going to be recognized because you're gonna be doing a good job. So that part of it is, is good, it's stable. Your job is stable for some of you. It's a good position to be in. At this time, you're learning something new, you're teaming up with others in order to achieve something at work. And you're gonna be judged fairly for whatever it is. I mean, you're either having to learn something so they know and they'll take their time to teach you or be patient with you at work. For others, it's it's something new that comes into your life that brings in some stability, okay? Some grounded plans for either a new position at work, a new job that comes in, something that's very creative that where you can show your talents. Maybe you're going to start something new, a new class or just a new way to show others how well you work, your talents, how good you are at certain things in life. Then underneath it, we have the king of fire. The king of fire is someone that it knacks. He's either a boss that helps you move forward or a new person that you meet that's a fire sign, an Aries, Sagittarius, or Aries, Sagittarius, Leo is the other sign. Motivational, idealistic, ambitious, and charismatic. You can become that. Perhaps some of you are going to start working on your own. You're going to start a business of your own. Something to do with your talent. Something very creative. Where you're going to become very motivated and ambitious to move your plans forward. To move your business forward. Focus, focus, focus is what you're being asked to do. Communicate with vision and be a leader advice from someone creative so someone can help you move forward your plans forward if being an entrepreneur or starting your own business is what's happening if you're being moved from one position to another this could be just help that you're going to get from other people but you're being asked to focus focus on learning what you need to learn in order to be able to team up with others to do a different position or to do something else at work very uh, very helpful here because you're you're going to be more balanced you're going to help balance the team or balance the group and there it's going to show that you're doing pretty good and other people will say it and say hey you're doing all right you're helping out it's it's working out everything is working perfectly communicate with vision for those of you that are starting something new your own business be sure to be positive about the things that you're doing and communicate to others So this week is all about following your intuitive guidance, being in control of your emotions. Don't let other people stir your emotional stability, okay? Focus on your health. Again, make doctor's appointments, look out for yourself. If you're addicted to something or know that there's an addiction or some type of a bad habit or a bad something bad that, that is not good for your health. You need to stop it. You need to start to take control of it and quit whatever it is. You know, if it's eating out of control, if it's anxiety, well, then you need to talk to your doctor about it.
and see what your doctor can do for you when it comes to anxiety or when it comes to um, addicted to work. Maybe you're a workaholic and you think about work all the time and making money and that, that throws your whole entire life out of balance because it's not the only thing that we should be worried about. If our family members are having a hard time and our relationships are not going well, well, then you need to speak to an expert, and if that doesn't help, then you need to change, you know, you need to you need to do what is best for you at this time. You need to stay in the relationship because it's, it's a lot of help when it comes to your finances, then you can for a while until you get some type of balance going on, but it's time to go, you know, sometimes, and you need to, like, not extend it, because the longer you're in it, the more you suffer, the more your kids suffer. That's just reality of, of the matter. Be very mindful of the things that you are and what is helpful for yourself and for those that are around you. Take care of your thoughts. Make sure that you remain peaceful, positive, and in control. Again, focus, focus, focus your mind on the things that you're working on, what you're doing. If you're driving, try not to have your mind thinking all kinds of thoughts or focus on your driving. Try to be in the moment. If we stay in the moment, I think it would help us a lot, especially if we have a lot of um, things that we're worried about or negative situations on the side or things that we're worried may happen, which may happen, but not yet, or you don't, you can't pinpoint it, so you shouldn't worry about those things. You know, just try to stay in the moment. Manage your mind. When we direct our thoughts and words towards the outcome we most desire, we ignite grace. And this is something that we need to work on. We need to practice that. We need to believe. We need to believe that these things can actually happen in our lives, that that there is trust and faith in God and there's some higher power that can help us, that will ignite grace when we need it the most. And just all of a sudden, everything will be fine. Everything disappears. Everything is finds its way, it becomes dormant, whatever it is, it will end up in a positive way. Just as card upright tells me so. So you need to fight for your rights, fight for your life. Be positive in the way that you think. When we marry intention with action, miracles happen. It's believing. It's believing the things that we need to happen, happen. And we need to invoke spirit. We have guides around us constantly. We're never alone. We need to invoke them. We need to ask for help. Ask for a blessing. There is an endless supply of divine support awaiting your request. It goes for all of us. So some things are going on in our lives that we don't understand, but we're going to find out. And when we do, we need to invoke. We need to trust. We need to believe that everything is going to be fine. And voila, it will. But we have to have that faith. We have to believe. We have to shine our little light. We have to believe that we're connected to the divine and we need to shine we need to be who we are step into the light you are a gift to the world believe that you are a gift to the world believe that you can step into the light and say here i am this is how things are going to go from now on this is how i'm going to think this is how i'm going to act this is how i'm going to be i believe that you can do it <coughs> my door is super dry and i'm having a time All right, I'm gonna pull a card. Spirit guides. The spirit messages. Daily guidance, oracle deck. Let's see what you guys have to say to you. So, A, B, or C. For those of you that chose A, listen. You have to be willing to listen if you want to really understand someone. So listening to the people around you, when they're talking, don't have your mind going a million miles a minute, trying to ad-lib to it or, or see how you can be helpful. Why don't you just listen to see how you can be helpful until they're done. Listen to the words that are being spoken and then listen to the ones that are not. Now is not the time to be offering any advice, but to be a compassionate listener. To listen fully and intently means to pay attention, not just to what is being said, but what lies beneath the words. So focus on your friends, your family members, and listen to what is being said to you so that you pay attention. Whether this is a doctor, uh, diet, 
uh, listening to your guides when they speak to you, when they nudge you and certain feelings that you get. Listen, listen to it, and especially those that are around you. Dream talk for those of you that chose B. Your subconscious constantly and subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways <clears throat> in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with your, through your thoughts, signs, symbols, messages, and more. That's what I was just saying. Listen to those subtle feelings that you get, to the nudges, to your intuitive guidance, your gut feeling, your dreams, messages, signs that you'll see and a thought that you'll receive immediately is like a communication from the divine trying to help you. So you're going to be receiving some messages through your dream time. Listen to the conversations that, that are going on in the, uh, in the dream. That can help you decipher some of the things or some of the secrets that, that are going to be revealed to you about your future, about yourself, about relationships, about other people in your life. Pay attention to your dreams and pay attention to the signs and your gut feeling. For those of you that chose C, ancestral wisdom. We are your ancestors. We love you. We walked the earth many years before you. We ask you at this poignant time to learn and grow from your past experiences. You are our legacy, and we will keep on helping you as we continue to evolve here in the spirit world. So your ancestors are trying to communicate with you and assist you. They also want you to know that you are not alone. They want you to learn from your past experiences. So if you're about to make a very important choice in your life, look back at the things that you have already gone through. Look back at some of the stories that you may have heard from them and the decisions that they made and the things that they did that were right and they were wrong. The answer is there somewhere of what you are trying to achieve or the questions that you're trying to ask the spirit world. You've already experienced it before or they have and you know about it because you've heard about it. Now you need to <clears throat> act accordingly. Now the answer is simple for some of your questions that are very important in life. We need to know that sometimes it's super simple. We just need to know it. Dancing is the answer to some of the questions, at least for me. They want me to keep dancing, keep moving to music, keep listening to my gut feeling and learning the cycles of the moon so that I can manifest the things that I want into my life easier. And keep dancing will help me lose weight and will also help raise my vibration, which is you know, dancing to music or just listening to music and moving my body as, as I do so. So walking, moving about, dancing would be a great thing. I think they're asking me to go join a, a dance class and <laughs> that might help me. A, B, and C again. For those of you that chose A, you need to start a new project. Transform your life in one way or another. And I would have to say transform it in the direction of the things that you love in life, in the directions of your talents, of the beautiful things in life. Look, caterpillar to the beautiful butterfly. It's time for you to cocoon up. It's not time to share with others or to let others guide you or let others tell you how to be. It's time for you to go within and find out who you truly are, what truly makes you shine, and then transform into the beautiful butterfly that all of us are, truly. But we need to shine our little light. It's time for you to start a new direction, a new path, a new relationship, something new in your life. <clears throat> for those of you that chose B, it's time for you to decide the outcome. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do with your life? How can you balance your relationships or your life in general? about a job, you have a new direction to go, is there a new job, is there something that you want to do, somewhere you want to go, you decide the outcome, you're given the chance at this point in your life to choose the direction that you want to go in and do it, don't let others choose for you or it will happen, if you don't choose something else will happen in order to do so. And here's this card again for those of you that chose C. It's time to start talking positively about yourself, about your body, about the way you look, about the way you think about yourself and those people that are around you. Like I said, if there's someone that's very negative, stop talking to them. If there's someone that's trying to involve you in some situation that you do not belong in or you had nothing to do with, it's time to either confront them or ignore them. Eventually, the light comes out. Eventually, truth comes out, you know, to everyone. 
if there is someone in your life that belittles you or says that you need to lose weight or you need to gain weight or there's something wrong with you, you need to stop talking to that person or get away from them. You need to love yourself. You need to like what you see in the mirror. And if you don't, it's time to start making some little changes, some adjustments. Change your hair, change the way you dress, uh, change the shoes you wear. Start eating a little healthier. Just start start with small steps, baby steps, something different for breakfast, something a little different at lunch, something a little different at dinner, a little less amount. Whatever it is you can change, you can start by doing little tiny things. And eventually, you'll look in the mirror and go, wow, I did a lot of great stuff. And that's what you need to do. You need to talk positively about yourself and about the things that you do in life. Make them all positive. I love you guys. Thank you so much. It's time to get out and blow up some steam, have some fun, do some crazy stuff that makes you happy. If you need to step away from the crowd and shine your little light on everyone else, do so. You're being asked to do so. You don't have to follow what everyone else does blindly. Be yourself. Love yourself. All right, guys. Till next week. Bye for now.